months ago in 2015, Kansas City already has more homicides this year than in all of last year combined. We learned today people and police have added another victim to that ever-growing list, and now another family is in mourning. 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall is live at Central Presbyterian Church tonight where more than 100 people are about to gather to honor a man gunned down in the street. Dia. Yeah, Amy, 20-year-old Cameron Gay was actually shot, and he was found here at the park that neighbors that church on Wednesday in what started, his mother tells me, as a robbery. This is the same place where family, friends, clergy, community members, and local police all came together not only to honor his memory, but to advocate for change. Today we're going to share a little love, amen? <laughs> A powerful charge for the people who gathered here this afternoon to honor the memory of Cameron Gay. The 20 year old was actually found shot here off Armour and Harrison on Wednesday. He later died at a local hospital in the 69th homicide in Kansas City this year. We spoke with his mother, Erica Caldwell, who says now it's time for the community to step up. This is time for the grown people to wake up and be like, we need to reach out to these kids instead of condemning them all the time. We need to reach out our hands to them sometimes. Kansas City police say they are investigating this as a homicide. So far, no witnesses have come forward. They're asking anyone with information to call their tips hotline. Cameron's father says his friends plan to gather here later tonight for another vigil. Live in Kansas City, DOL, 41 Action News.